And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey, everyone, welcome. As you're all aware, there is a mask mandate coming in in the very near future with threats of punishment, fines and regulations, etc. Let's have a quick listen to Sajid Javid on wearing masks in shops and public transport. First of all, if, God forbid, this gets out of control and is very, very infectious in this country, uh, will you bring in uh, further regulations? Will you bring in a return to at least some form of lockdown, self-isolation, working from home? Have you noticed how the media are all for the lockdowns? Ask yourself why that is. Are those still on the table? Well, I mean, first I'd say the, the measures that we have taken so far that we announced in, on Thursday and, and, and yesterday, I think these are the right sort of proportionate, you know, is the right sort of balanced response to the threat we see at this point in time and they are important well, measures so requiring let me ask you specifically about them if i may yes. so you're you've seen my previous video in regards to the report from the states that says that masks and mask mandates don't seem to be working because there's more numbers of cases in states that have mask mandates than the ones that never have but let's listen making mask wearing in england compulsory on public transport um but not in, in hospitality why is that because the, when it comes to making decisions like this, and, and, and let's think about mask wearing specifically, since you asked about it, there's obviously a, a, a sort of a, a spectrum of, of, of action we could have taken on masks. But Very nervous, isn't he, everyone? We wanted to do it in a targeted way. The advice was that this was the best way. Rabbit in headlights. Way uh, to do it with uh, shops and public transport. And, and that's what we've right. done. And I think, that's, sorry, a, I think that's an appropriate response. But as you I, know... I'm sorry to interrupt, yeah. but just to be absolutely clear, this is a new rule which is in place now and people who don't obey that, people who go into shops without masks, can be fined, will be fined. Well, what, what Hopefully will be fined, that seemed to come across as. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. What has changed, I, th I think, uh, with this announcement is that I think the British public can see that why the government has uh, announced this and they have, I think, throughout the pandemic, always acted in, in a responsible sure. way. I'm just not <laughs> I'll stop it there. Let me just say this, everyone. Remember the last time they tried to mandate in shops and people were being thrown out of the shops for not wearing the masks and then went on to sue the stores for quite a considerable amount of money for medical discrimination. On top of that debacle in regards to stores doing it, do you not remember the fines that were given out and they were all quashed because they were unlawful? Remember those? Exactly the same laws are in place. Well, you may be unaware of it because a lot of people are actually seeing this as a major issue. But you may be unaware of it, but the exemption rules still apply. This is from the gov.uk, gov which is the government's own website, explaining exactly what exemption is from this mandate. Are we ready for this? If you have an age, health or disability reason for not wearing a face covering, you do not routinely need to show any written evidence of this. In other words, don't need a card, don't need to prove it, don't need a passport. You do not need to show an exemption card. Exactly the same thing. This means that you do not need to seek advice or request a letter from a medical professional about your reason for not wearing a face covering, which is effectively self-exemption. What this actually means is you can exempt yourself for any reason and it is unlawful but to, for anyone to question you. These are still in place, by the way, everyone. However, some people may feel comfortable showing something that says they do not have to wear a face covering. Why would you feel more comfortable if you weren't being challenged? This could be in the form of an exemption card badge or even a homemade sign. They want us to walk around with placards now. Maybe a sandwich board. <laughs> Carrying an exemption card or badge is a personal choice and is not required by law. So the reason I think for him looking like a nervous rabbit in a headlight is because he knows that the law does not back him up in regards to being exempt. You can effectively claim yourself exempt for stubbing your toe on the way in and nobody, including the government, until this let look, these laws are changed, can ask you about it. So don't worry everyone, this isn't something to be worried about. They're hoping that you're going to comply and just put the mask on. Obviously, if you feel you want to wear a mask, I'm not telling you to do or, or not do anything. It's entirely up to you. I'm just saying that 
him threatening to find people that aren't sort of contradicts the fact that you can exempt yourself at any moment without any proof whatsoever. Let everyone know this, everyone. Make sure you share it out. Go and check out the website where all the videos go. Stay sane. I'll see you on the next one.